Hello everyone. So we are going to start with TypeScript in this tutorial. We are learning TypeScript because we want to work with WebDriver IO using TypeScript and Jasmine as a framework. So I thought of giving you a glimpse of TypeScript, what actually it is, how to use and the basic syntaxes so that you feel comfortable while writing your test automation scripts in WebDriver IO. So this is my GitHub repository. You can follow all the details that I'm going to cover in this TypeScript tutorials. So you have all the details on my GitHub repository for TypeScript. For practice purpose, we'll be using TypeScript lang.org that would be acting as a playground for us where we can try our commands that we want to try out and we can check the logs and errors there as well. Now, why do we need this playground is because on the browser console, we can check JavaScript absolutely. For example, if I write a simple alert, hello there. So we can see here, we get the alert in the browser and let's say we want to define or create a variable so var a equals 10 and if i print on console using uh, console.log a it prints that variable on console itself but the syntax for typescript is different and you cannot compile the code in the browser console for typescript so that's why we need this playground that is the basic purpose why i'm using it otherwise you can set up other uh, editors for example vs code on your local and then you can play on those editors as well now coming to the introduction of typescript why is it called as typescript and why not javascript so basically javascript was introduced as a language for client side which you see as various interactive controls on your browser actually browser is your client and then the development of node.js has marked javascript as an emerging server side technology all right so because the server side code it was also started written in uh, javascript so that causes a javascript code to grow and it was getting messier actually so what we needed was we also needed object orientation or type checking which was missing in javascript so that is why typescript came into picture which was bridging up all these gaps so what you can say is typescript is a superset of javascript or you can say it is a parent of JavaScript or in simple words, you can say that all the JavaScript code is actually TypeScript, but all the TypeScript code is not JavaScript because it is superset. Okay, so a, a TypeScript program can contain modules, functions, variables, and we can have classes, objects, we can have statements, expressions, and we can have comments as well. So we will be writing a simple hello world program in our next tutorial. 